Hey, hey, After Effects and motion graphics enthusiasts. Uh, this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to make 3D extrusions with the Cinema 4D renderer. Now, I did do another tutorial on the Cinema 4D renderer, which is one of the new effects, or one of the new features of After Effects 2017. If you do not have After Effects 2017, please go out and do it. Uh, download it and install it because it is nice. It's one of the better versions of After Effects. So let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial of the Cinema 4D 3D extrusion. So back here in After Effects, I've got a 3D extrusion uh, composition and so in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle so let's just go up to our layers and make sure there's not a stroke um, we're going to put a fill on here let's do a lighter let's say green aqua whatever color this is about right there and we're going to hold shift down to draw a nice circle and let's undo I go to our move tool and we'll move that around kind of in the center and I don't like that color so let's go to our fill and click on that Let's make it a different color. So maybe we'll do something like that a little better. Okay, good enough. All right, so now we've got this shape. And what I want to do is I want to kind of make like an outline of this. And we can do that on this existing shape layer. First, let's rename it to circular, circle outline, enter. And I'm going to add a ellipse. And we'll get that a little bit bigger. Change the size. Let's go up here. And I don't like where that's coming from. So we can either move the position of this and try to finagle it, or we can just delete this, make sure ellipse one is not selected and the layer's not selected, and then add another ellipse. Now that's not giving us what we want. So let's delete this path and we'll start from scratch. Or another one, hold shift, boom. Bring it up around here. We can check our anchor point and we'll leave it there. Now let's try to add a new ellipse. And is that from the center? Take the size up. It's a little bit off. So let's undo. Let's click on ellipse one and we'll add another ellipse. There we go. That's what we're looking for right from the center. Okay take our position, I mean our size up and we're going to take about, let's do about right there and then I'm going to add, click off of here, add a merge paths and mode subtract, boom, take that center out. So now we've just got this little ring and it's still all one layer. So we'll rename this to circle outline, enter and now we can move this around as we please and there's nothing in the center. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to add some keyframes to make it do something. And we can do that by scaling it down or we can move it out of the way. We can rotate it, which you probably won't be able to see, but we can do whatever we'd like. So let's see what we can here add here. Um, I don't like any of these. We could go and pick one. We could pick this ellipse. Uh, pick the different contents and do something with those. Um, let's try to take the size of this and we'll make it a little smaller. Actually, let's do this. Let's take this to zero and we'll add a keyframe there and then we'll bring it up and about right there. Actually, I should move that over. Undo, move it over and then take it up. There we go. Okay, so we'll take it about right there, and when we come back and play this, it's probably going to be too slow. Looks like we've got some action going on. Let me bring this down a little bit slower, smaller, so we can... There we go. All right, so we see that that's coming in. Looks okay. Now let's zoom in a little bit here so we can mess with our keyframes, and we'll add some easy ease. Let's see what that looks like from the beginning. Okay, kind of zooms in there. Now what we can do is take the other ellipse and let's take that size down to zero. And we'll add a keyframe. And then we're gonna go to the other one. 
by using K, and we'll zoom it up about, let's say, 450. Now if we play this back, you can see that that doesn't look good, so it's at easy ease. And we'll bring this back just a little bit to make it happen before the smaller one. So as we come in, we can see that it goes together, but it looks like we need a little bit more border. So we'll go back, use J to go back to this one, and we'll make it a little bit smaller so that as we get to the end, we've still got some on that ring. Okay, so we'll play back. There we go. Kind of nifty. All right. So let's go ahead and go, let's highlight these and go to our graph editor. And we'll give them just a little bit more dynamic. Let's bring them both forward a little bit, see what that looks like. Okay, looks pretty good. Now let's add some text. Um, let's minimize this, and we'll add some text to the center of that. So when it comes out, we'll go about right here when it's all done. And we'll add Control T to add, let's say, 3D. And we'll move that right to the center. I want to let's see, click in here. Can we bring these little Alt and Left arrow to bring them together a little bit? Like that, and we'll change that font because I don't really like it. I definitely didn't mean to hit F there. Um, let's see what else we got. What about Oswald? Oswald. Uh, let's see. Pretty good, but I want to now add some spacing. There we go. Okay. And we'll check the font. Let's go ahead and make it a bold. Make it look pretty good. And we will make this a little bit lighter of a color than this green so we'll click on how about we click on the green and we will change this color a little bit lighter all right so now that looks pretty good so if we come back here you're going to see the words but then we bring that out and so what we can do is we can bring the text in after everything pops up so let's go to our text and we'll scale it to zero from here and add a keyframe. We'll go forward to 10 frames here and 100. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this keyframe forward just a bit and I'm going to take this up to 110. And now if I play this back, it's going to get, it's going to kind of pop in. So it pops in there. Okay. I want to add some easy ease just to make it a little bit more subtle. Okay. Pops in there. All right. Now here's where things get interesting. Let's go ahead and now that we've got our animation done, let's add some 3D effects to it. So we'll click both layers, holding shift, and we'll make them both 3D. Now, if we go to the geometry options, we can actually change the extrusion. So we'll take the extrusion depth and let's go to like 35 and minimize this 3D and that, and let's see what they look like. So if we go forward in time, and go to this custom view one. Okay, we could see that the ring has some 3D, but the 3D text doesn't have an extrusion. So we need to go back down here and add 35 here. Now we can see that that's 3D, but it looks funny. And the reason why is because we don't have a light or a camera. So we can add light or a camera, or we can add, let's say animate, uh, we could do like a front color and let's just do saturation and we can add some saturation on there which is not going to work uh, let's take this animator off let's animate this front color and we'll do rgb then we can add a color on there so if we pick, color pick this and go just say like a little bit darker we can see that now we see some layers so we don't have a lighter camera but we could actually do that if we wanted to but we're not going to do that. I'm going to take the animator off and minimize this. We're going to go up to layer, new, and uh, light. And we'll just pick a default light. And let's pick a nice kind of like bluer color. Right about right there. Click OK. Intensity will go up to about 150 or so. All right. Leave all that the same and fall off. Cast shadows. Yes, we do want that. And we want the shadow diffusion up to about 50. And we will click OK. So now when we got this in here, ooh, look at that. We've got some uh, lights going on, making some shadows. Now we, we want to make sure that the shadows are being accepted. So we can go down to our text and material options and cast shadows on. So now that's going to say that it 
cast shadows and it accepts shadows. So let's minimize that and do the same thing with our outline circle material options. And let me bring this up a little bit for you so you can see what's going on and cast shadows on. So now we gotta make sure that the lights are doing what they're supposed to do. So now if we play this back, we can see that we've got some 3D action. So it comes in, it's all 3D layered. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see maybe about 200%. Uh, and I will take this up to full resolution. So if we play this back, you see that it zooms in, it gets smaller and then pops into the scene. So let's go to our front view and you can tell that it doesn't look like anything because we can't see the extrusion. So you could add a camera in here, you can rotate it around. So let's go to layer new, layer new camera. All right, just a normal camera is fine. And if we hit C to go to our uh, camera, our unified camera tool here, you could move that around, but we need to make sure that all of our 3D is set up correctly. So let's go here in frames and drop this down. Let's see. All right, we're gonna minimize our contents and we don't need our material options. Go to 3D, let's minimize this. Trying to open up some real estate here. And if we go back, we can go to active camera and then we can maneuver this around. Okay, so if we scroll forward here, we can see that we've got that. Now we can move this camera around. All right. So now if we go to the front, we see where our camera is, if we zoom out, and what we could do is as this is coming in, we could have it spin. So let's go to our camera, uh, but we need to be able to see everything. All right, we can move this around from our active camera mode. So let's just say we're about at the front there. We'll take this and we can, change like our point of interest or we can change our position orientation whatever but what we want to do is we're going to take this logo we're going to pre-compose it and we'll call it circle logo for 3d circle lo logo how about that 3d not 2d all right and then we'll click ok now we've got that into a pre-composition and we'll need to make it 3d and we won't be able to see anything unless we're actually in the pre-composition. So we'll just take these layers back out. Sorry for all the hassle. Let's cut them, put them back here, and we'll delete the pre-comp and we'll just do whatever the computer wants us to do. All right, so I'm going to just take both of these at the same time, drag the camera and the light above them, and we're gonna use the scale. And let's go all the way back down. Okay, we can see. All right, so when it comes in, let's add some rotation. R for rotation, and we'll do X rotation. It's probably gonna take some time to render, so let me take my resolution down, and we can also make sure this is on adaptive resolution, not final quality, that'll help with our uh, rendering and everything. So, let's see if we change our rotation, zero, enter, orientation, that's just for the ring. So let's do that and we will do it with the Y. So let's go like this. Okay, so we'll set a keyframe for right when it gets big, about like right here. Set a keyframe here for zero and then we'll come through here and we'll rotate it around, let's say 720 degrees. We give it two. Uh, and it's not gonna do that because we need to do something lower. So how about 270? All right, so now if we play this back, you see that it starts to spin around, 360. All right, we're not gonna change the orientation, we're just gonna change the Y. We'll go here, set our Y rotation and go forward. And how about we'll rotate it four times. All right, so now when I play this back, after it comes in, it's gonna start spinning. And it goes a little fast, so we could slow it down by bringing that out. 
All right, so not quite the best animation, but it shows you how you can add extrusion and rotate around the word 3D. So, sorry for all the hassle. Um, there are still some things I don't know in After Effects. So um, if you guys have an idea for a tutorial, I'm willing to do anything. Let's add some easy ease. Um, and I want to bring you guys even more tutorials. So hope this was helpful for you guys. And remember to watch in 4K on all these other tutorial videos. If you have any questions or need to talk about anything, I'm here for you. <laughs> so see you guys around in the next one.